night, a woman missing for more than two weeks in Maui is recovering in the hospital. And it's all thanks to a dedicated rescue crew who found the 35-year-old hiker late on Friday. But the story has a local twist. One of the men who found her is from Hampton Roads. 10 on your side, Tamara Scott talked with the man originally from Chesapeake about the rescue. Tamara. Yeah, well, Kayla, Chris Burkess moved to Hawaii a few years ago. He never thought this is where life would take him, but he says from the moment he joined the volunteer team, he knew he was there for a reason, and now his life has been forever changed. It's a moment that Chris Burkess says he'll never forget. I screamed it right away. We found her, we found her, and absolutely no doubt at all. I'm a star out of a helicopter. We were all so excited. You feel the whole helicopter lurch in the bank as we all swing over to that side. The moment he spotted Amanda Eller, the woman missing in Maui for more than two weeks. You can still tell that she was wearing a white shirt and blue pants. It just wasn't quite as white, and the pants weren't quite as blue. Um, Javi could tell from, you know, we were only 150 feet above her, so Javi could tell that she was barefoot. Um, but, you know, she was up, she was moving, she was waving at us, she was, you know, very much aware and alert, which is a huge relief for all of us. She realized the worst was over when she heard a familiar voice. Another rescuer. Javier struck up a dialogue with her, you know, as he's approaching. He's like, Do you recognize my voice? She's like, Javi? And he's like, Yeah, it's me, it's me. This is when Chris knew he was there for a reason, but the moment almost didn't happen. Sunday was my day off. So I came out to volunteer that Sunday, and then I was supposed to go to work the next week, and my employer didn't want to give me any time off to let me volunteer with this. And so I had to make a choice between the two. We know what he chose. But does he regret it? Are you kidding me? The greatest thing ever. It would have been the greatest thing even if we hadn't been as lucky as we just were to, to, to find her alive and well. Um, it still would have been the right thing to do. He says no regrets. And since this experience, he has been reminded of roots here in Hampton Roads. One of the things I miss most about being back in Virginia was just the sense of community. You know, I always felt like I had good neighbors and good community back home. And I hadn't necessarily felt that out here before. Uh, and now it's, it's an overwhelmingly positive, strong feeling with this whole community. Now, his advice to anyone who has the opportunity to change or save someone's life like this, never give up, especially when the hours turn to days and the days turn to weeks. Never give up. In the newsroom, Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.